Mayday, mayday, mayday. We are all set up here at 6B. We got our spots. We're boondocking here with our friends. And uh, we've been here a few days and uh, kind of just been chilling. But the last couple days have been like super windy, like 45, 50 mile an hour gust yesterday. So we didn't do a whole lot yesterday. But today it's calmed down and we're going to do some more kayaking. So we haven't got a rack for the Jeep yet. So it took the top off. We're just going to strap down the kayaks at the top of the Jeep because we're only going a couple miles. When you're on Key West, everything's close. So anyway, let me show you the site. So we're in the dry camping section. So they do have a few full hookup sites here at Sigsby, which is on the Navy base on Key West, but we didn't get that. We're just boondocking. We're set up for it with our solar and batteries, so not a problem. They got water fill stations, they got shower houses, they got a dump station. So, and we got plenty of sun for the solar, so we're good. Real quick, I gotta tell you about this dream I had last night, and I hope this doesn't come to fruition, but last night I dreamt that we had another broken leaf spring on the RV. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen again. All right, so these sites are $32 a night for dry camping, which, you know, in normal dry camping, that would be considered expensive. But since we're on Key West, it's definitely cheap compared to Key West. Some of the RV parks around here are charging over $200 a night. So, of course, that's with full hookups and everything. But for $32 a night and we got everything we need, we'll live with that. The Navy base here has a commissary and a um, NEX, which is like a little Walmart and a little grocery store. We got our own fuel station. We got everything we need. They even got a gym, which I utilized yesterday because it was so windy. I wasn't gonna run in the um, 40 mile an hour winds. And uh, so, yeah, we're, uh, we're loving it so far. Hopefully today will be pretty awesome. And uh, we won't be back in the dark this time. All right, so we're gonna blow up the kayaks. This time I got my adapter that I talked about in our kayaks video, I'll put a link up here. And um, it should be a lot easier because now I can use my Vi air compressor. All right, we got them strapped down. Who needs a cargo rack when you can just use cargo straps? Check this out. We're not going very far and we're not gonna be going very fast. Otherwise I'd probably flip that one over, but. I think our top speed will be like 20. <laughs> That'll work. It ain't going nowhere. Cool. Well, our friends Mike and Dina, we're gonna rent paddle boards here at the base, but since the winds are over 15 miles an hour, they won't rent them to them a liability issue so we're just gonna go out and swap out probably or hopefully the winds will calm down so they can at least get out here with us but we're with Ron and Kathy with their kayaks and uh, we're gonna go explore this area. Is there an outlet over there? No it just comes back here again but there's a great big orange iguana. Oh really cool a big iguana in here babe Am I gonna get my inner Todd Connitzer out with some crabs? Oof. Oh, I see him. Holy cow, look at the size of that thing. Well, we just saw our first iguana. Check this out. Let's see him right over there. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to him.
Woo. All right, it's the next day. We are at Bahi Honda State Park. We're doing a little kayaking, doing a little snorkeling, a little beach time. Not too shabby. It's time for our weekly content creator spotlight.
Be sure to check out our friends Becky and Mark over at U-Turn on Life. They are on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And until next week, guys, safe travels.